Unit Two. Lend some color to your conversations. October fifth. Since the last three idioms were so vivid, why not introduce a few more? Wave a white flag. Flags are powerful symbols, flown as representations of everything from countries to corporations. The white flag, however, has only one meaning: surrender. Whether seen in legends of ships fleeing from pirates, or in real countries losing wars, waving a white flag is a clear way to show that you're giving up. It's hard to pin down the reason for this, but some believe that a white flag was once used to indicate mourning in China, and slowly took on its new meaning from that. In the pink, congratulations! Your doctor declared you to be in the pink. That's great news, as in the pink means to be in superb condition. This idiom dates back to the 1500s, when the word pink was not yet used to describe a color. Back then, pink characterized the dianthus, a flower, considered the height of beauty. The dianthus represented perfection. In the 1600s, in the pink was adopted to describe a person's health, but pink only became a name for a color in the 19th century. As good as gold, you beam as your parents read your report card aloud. Wow! Your teacher says you're as good as gold. Your teacher is saying that you're well behaved. The phrase didn't always have this meaning, though. At first, "good" in this case actually meant genuine. For credit, people would use paper bills, which were a legitimate way of promising to later pay in gold coins. Once they obtained the gold, they'd obediently pay off their debt. Over time, the phrase evolved and is now used to describe dutiful behavior. How creative can you get with colors in your conversations?